So as we turn back to the ADM explosion, the blast could be seen for miles away, even from other communities, and the word spread quickly that Decatur's largest employer was on fire. WCI 3's Bradley Swank will bring us even more. Decatur Mayor Julie Moore Wolf says she didn't see the explosion firsthand, but she heard firefighters on their way to the emergency. Where I live, there are a lot of echoes, but within a very short amount of time, I heard another house being called out. So I knew something had happened that was bad. And that's when she got some phone calls and started to take action. Uh, the words explosion, fire, and injuries are three words nobody wants to hear. She says after the news, she had to put her faith in the firefighters. You hope for best case scenario, um, you prepare for the worst. One former firefighter from Mount Zion I talked to says he's been to a similar call. I went on, on Iliopolis when the Borden chemical plant blew up. Mark Scranton saw ADM's fire from Mount Zion. He says working around industrial buildings is a different environment for firefighters. You never know what you're going to walk into on an industrial fire. A little bit different than dealing with a residential house fire. And that's where a firefighter's extensive training comes in. They are the ones, much like 9-11, who run in when everybody else is running out. Reporting indicator, I'm Bradley Swank, WCI 3 your local news leader. And so keep in mind that the rest of the ADM plant is still open, and we do know that over 4,000 people work at the Decatur location.